hello guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Singapore Airlines Airbus A380-841 in the colors of 28th Sea Games so let's start off with the front of the box so at the upper right corner of the box we got this um, the Airbus industry logo here and the font Airbus A380 and scale 1 200 on the left side we got uh, the C Games logo of 2015 and, and the official airline partner which means that Singapore airline is an official airline partner of the C Games so in the background we got the yeah the C Games like uh, style background and also landing gear included so yeah let's take a look at the sides yep the Airbus A380 scale 1 200 Singapore Airlines same thing like the other sides yeah same yes so uh, okay so excuse me there so I got this model uh, from myhobbyhouse.com and this was the last uh, aircraft model ever sold in the in that website which means that currently it was already sold out uh, it shipped within four days using uh, DHL e-commerce so yeah uh, this model uh, price is ab uh, about 200 ringgit plus with six I think seven ringgits of of shipping with uh, I mean via DHL e-commerce so yeah let's take a look at the back at the back we got the uh, the rendition of the aircraft as you can see there the 20 AC games official airline partner and we got the registration 9V-SKA or 9Victor-Sierra Kilo Alpha uh, for a short info 9V-SKA was the first uh, A380 to be entered into commercial service its first commercial flight was uh, took place on October 2007 uh, this aircraft have been with Singapore Airlines for 10 years until it was retired in 2017 due to its leasing uh, contracts have been expired expired uh, currently this aircraft has already been scrapped for parts which makes the first A380 in the world to be scrapped so let's continue on with the box we got the text again Airbus industry logo Airbus A380 there some specifications yep and this minor info about the aircraft 1 200 scale plastic snap fit model highly detailed superior graphics simple snap fit construction display stand included and no painting required right here we got the like a warning warning text uh, small, small parts not suitable for children under 14 years and this we got the recycle logo and the barcode and it's made in China so without further ado let's let's start with the unboxing so I need to get rid of this like plastic covering from the box From the look of this, I think this box was made of the cardboard, I think. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. We got the plastic coverings have been removed. So let's start with the unboxing. Oh, 
Oh, it's hard to open it. Okay, here we go. We got the contents inside. Yup, we got the fuselage here. So let's get the fuselage out. Hmm, I wonder what this is. I think this is nothing else. We got the fuselage. Yeah, nicely covered. The wings. And we got more parts inside. So let's take it out. Okay, hang on. First of all, we got the instructions, uh, typical Hogan Wings instructions. Yeah, this is the landing gear installation here. This is for the uh, mid parts of the fuselage. Yeah. Landing gear itself. Yeah. Nothing on the back. Usually it has a uh, Hogan Wings logo there with the landing gears for A380 series. And the small detail right there. And the stand here, as well as the tail parts, including the stabilizer, uh, stabilizer and elevators and stuff. So yeah, let me just wrap up for the uh, for the first part. So here is the part. Uh, I mean, here is, is the con here are the contents of the box. Alright, now let's start with the assembly. First, we take out the fuselage here. It's taped together, I think. Nah, okay. So, let's take a look at the fuselage here. Look, you can see there the Star Alliance logo there look at the doors it's really detailed the um, Airbus hang on ok so we got the Airbus A380 there uh, classic uh, Airbus style font the Singapore Airlines right there look at the stripes the the Singaporean flag and we got the registration right there 9V-SKA and here is the the sticker feature the 28th C games here we got the um, the APU which is uh, modeled and painted very detailed nice uh, at the right side, same thing, except this side has, um, you know, uh, cargo doors right here, and another one is here, at the, bottom, at the bottom side, nothing, and we got the uh, Hogan Wings logo there, let me try to focus on the camera, there you go, the Hogan Wings logo there holes for the landing gear yeah on the upper side we only got those two beacon lights right there yeah it's hard to focus on the camera I don't know why you don't the uh, autofocus but yeah so yeah that's for the fuselage and the one thing that I like about Hogan Wings uh, and SkyMox models uh, because uh, is the fuselage ha has a very detailed uh, printings on it so that's one thing I like about it so we got the wings right here let's take it out the, the this top covering layer very easy yeah let's take it out the left wing let's take a look so let's take a look at the Top part, uh, the the upper part of the wing, okay. 
as you can see is really detailed with those uh, warning signs nicely printed uh, there's a minor detail and the flaps right there nicely modeled the uh, engines uh, Trend 900 Rolls Royce Trend 900 uh, these plates can sp uh, this uh, uh, fan can spin if you blow into it uh, some A380 models made by Hogan Wings had this minor detail but this one hasn't I don't know why on the other side we got the registration itself yeah and the holes for the landing gear and the parts for the assembling the plane so yeah that's the left wing oh we got the winglets here nicely painted overall uh, the wings on the Hogan wings model are very detailed I must say that's one thing I like about it so yeah We got the second wing here, the right wing. Yeah, nothing else is the same. So yeah, that's about it for the uh, the wings. So without further ado, let's stay use. Let's take out this landing gear. And in fact, this is uh, the second uh, Hoga wings Airbus A380 model I had. The first one is. Uh, Asiana Airlines what rib right there so hmm there you go here goes the landing gear right there so let's check it out Okay, so these are the landing gears to it. I don't want to show you one of them. Maybe I could. This is the front. Here is the front landing gear. One of the landing gears for the wings. Simple, uh, simply, uh, very simple. The with this like um, simple design steel hubs for the wheels. Yeah. the landing gear for the mid middle part of the fuselage can be tilted and is made of rubber all of these landing gears here's another one for the uh, for the fuselage for the main uh, middle part of the fuselage uh, yeah this is the landing gear for the wings this for the like a uh, gear doors for the middle part of the fuselage for the main gear and these are the doors for the nose gear so we got the uh, the two letters here KA Kilo Alpha the the last two letters of the registration yeah very simple compared to the Asiana Airlines this one is uh, this one is less detailed so without further ado let's install the landing gears so let me uh, take this fuselage out of the way. Not this one. Yep, this one, right? And the installation was simple. You can use glue; it's recommended, but not not a must. Yeah, here you go. We got the landing gear install on the left wing this is the right the, the right wing maybe I could install it I don't know yeah maybe I could I think it fits right now I don't know yeah 
you have to use glue somehow but I like to like uh, repack it into the box and whatnot so I don't like it to yeah repack all of those things so overall we got the landing gears on the wing uh, install so let's get the fuselage here and install the main gears and the nose gear I think this one I think There you go just push it forward but I don't want to go further on you can continue push it forward but yeah I wanted to get it out for the package even though I like this model but I want to keep it inside of the box for cleaning reasons so yeah this one is smooth enough I had no idea but yeah we got the main gear installed but not as smooth yeah so let's get on go on with the nose gear man I forgot how to put it much like the uh, Asiana Airlines I did in the past in back in 2016 okay 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 this might uh, this will take a moment so please patient Let me just get these wings out of the way so you can see it better. I don't want to drag the camera down. There you go. Almost there. Alright. Here we go. I know it, this isn't the incorrect way to install the front gear but this is how I could for a non-permanent assembly so yeah we get the landing gears installed and yeah so let's let's assemble the left wing focus focus it a bit here you go So here we go, we got the wings installed, let me just get the box right at the back, those cables, filthy cables, so yeah, we got the wings installed here, yep, so, so now let's get the tail uh, to be done, so we, the tail is at the back, so yeah, just simple, put the tape out, uh, each of the tail parts has its own packaging, like other Singapore Airlines models and in the Malaysia Airlines model is in the past there's uh, limited edition models okay so that's the stand I will leave it right here uh, I will leave the stand uh, right at the uh, side so we get the the uh, elevators and the two stabilizers separately packaged and as well as with tape so let's get the uh, left uh, left uh, ele elevators and uh, correction sure this is the rudder so apologize for that so we got the uh, left elevator here those minor details minor printing I mean small details those warning signs over there and the numbers uh, it says number one here which means uh, this one had to be assembled on the left side so let's unpack the second one the second elevator the right one the right elevator
right here we got the this right here hang on let me try to focus right here number two which means this one the right elevator had to be assembled on the right so let's assemble it okay focus here you go and you have to be careful when you assemble these things up sometimes it will like a fly out the way and scratch the paint so okay Yeah, this requires a, a little bit of force. It's hard to uh, to push in. So we got the the rear elevator part. We got the uh, we got the rudder here. So let's unpack it. So you can see right here. We got the Singapore Airlines logo there, and this part uh, I hate this for the H V I T model specifically because when you assemble it, it will be permanent compared to the seven forty seven which had this this assembly thing it parts too, but it can be disassembled uh, if you want to repack it and whatnot. So yeah, so let's assemble the tail. It's heavy, not as heavy as the Gemini jets. A uh, one two hundred ski three eighty, which is much heavier. So so yeah, I would just leave it right there. Oh, so I almost uh, made my camera fall. So right here, here we go. Um, finally, we got the model assemble here. So let's take a look at it. Let me take off the bipod here. Yeah. That's a really really detailed model right there. For the exception of the uh antennas here and like uh air deflectors on the engines. Other than that, it looks very detailed. So yeah. Let's put my my cam back on the tripod here. Uh, okay, put the camera down. I think I need to put the box a little bit back away again, so you can see the model. Hopefully, yeah. Bring the camera down. Hopefully, my uh, my camera won't fall. So let's get the stand and it's taped okay so we got the stand here uh, we got the stand piece and the base and this is the the covers for the landing gears uh, for those who, who, would you who would like to display this aircraft on the flight mode so okay so here's the stand piece right here uh, I will use this as to store the landing gears because those pack landing gear like a pack has been ripped apart so yeah oh, come on man so here's the stand piece landing uh, this is the stand piece look at here You can see 20 FC games 2015 official airline partner yeah so let's assemble the stand it's very simple like get this piece stand piece insert it to these holes push it down sometimes it's a bit stiff but it's fine uh, yeah after that just pull it back like so, I don't want to go further because I want to take it out for storage later. As you can see, we got the Hogan logo there. 
yeah so that's the stand here uh, compared to the Asiana Airlines model this one is much smaller I mean yeah this stand is smaller than this Asiana Airlines one so let's put this aircraft on stand hopefully you can see there wait I need to focus a little bit I almost made my camera fall there. Uh, I think that was it. Put it on the stand right here, and voila! Here we here here we have it. The Singapore Airlines Airbus A380 uh, in the colors of 20 FC games. Look at here. Uh, in, in the end, uh, I like this model, and be, being uh, I mean, is uh, the the closest era. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to say, but it's very detailed, nicely modeled. The engines, the fans can be spin. Look at that. Look at those uh, details right there on the engine, the wings. Here, right here, the rear part, the sticker, the C games, the registration right here, and the tail, the uh, AP, APU auxiliary power unit. If I if I remember, on this and this is on the right side. Yep. And the front. Okay, so yeah. So overall, I will uh, on a uh, I will rate this model uh, nine points nine point five out of ten. This is a very great, uh, very good model. So let me get uh, let me take this box. Maybe. Okay. So okay, guys. So that will be it for this video. I hope you like it. Uh, leave a like if you did. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. So I hope to see you in my next videos.